Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanase here. So product research for the longest time ever, the product research strategies have been absolutely the same. Someone might tell you to go on the Facebook feed and like and comment and share all drop shipping ads that you see while someone else might say go on AliExpress, sort by the most amount of orders and find your products that way. But let me tell you that product research has changed significantly simply because everybody has found out about those previous strategies which I just mentioned. And because those strategies have become so common, the time has now come to use something different, something new that not a lot of people know. And in my own experience, it's only when you use something new and different that you really find success and can take your income to the next level. So this video is going to be about two different strategies which I actually just found out about. These strategies are actually something which barely anybody if anybody at all even talks about or uses. So these two strategies are going to be six figure even seven figure strategies if you use them consistently and correctly like I show you in the video. But without wasting any more time let's just jump right into the strategy. So one big disclaimer before I reveal the first strategy and that is in order for these strategies to work you're gonna have to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Just kidding but you should definitely still do that but the first strategy that I have for you guys is the strategy of sorting by the newest products added to a store first. Now what do I mean by this exactly? Well I'm gonna be showing you three different examples of three different websites where this strategy actually works really really well. And again this strategy is not something anybody even uses because nobody likes to really think out of the box. Most people here they will just sort by the best selling on a specific website but as you guys already know you can have the option of disabling the best selling collection page on your website so when somebody searches for the best selling collection on your website you can redirect them somewhere else. But this new strategy is actually completely different and this is simply sorting by the newest product first and I'm gonna be showing you guys three example websites where I use this strategy so the first one is a drop shipping store in fact all three are drop shipping stores but the first one here this is one of the stores I spy on regularly because it is a great drop shipping store but one thing I notice about this specific drop shipping store is that they disable the collection best selling products so what that means is if you try to search the best selling collection on this specific website you're gonna be redirected to another collection page which is not their best seller but if we go ahead and apply the specific strategy which is simply writing this piece of text at the very end which is collection slash all question mark sort by created descending and this is simply to find out the newest products first which this specific store just added recently. So the first few products that you just see are the ones that this store has just recently added. In fact this specific product I'm just seeing it right now when I check with this specific website in the morning by applying the same exact strategy this product was not visible. So that means in within the past few minutes to the past few hours this store just added this product. But the main reason as to why this is a new and really good strategy which I'm recommending to you guys is because most of the drop shipping stores especially those doing really well just like this specific store do a lot of product research before adding anything to their website. I mean they spend hours and hours and they have staff members and teammates who really look into the product and try to determine which product should be added and which should not be added. So this store is one of the bigger general stores because this store does do about $100,000 in sales per month. But what happens is if this store just recently added a product and I applied this strategy of adding this text at the end and find out what products they added, I have a really good chance of finding potential six figure to seven figure winning products first. The thing is usually with the old strategies you would go on Facebook or you would go on Instagram and do the research and then find products but here what we're doing is we're just finding products which this store is planning to advertise but may not have even advertised yet because they just added the product to their store and we can use these products to add to our website and create ads for. So as you can see this strategy actually takes you a step ahead of the curve instead of waiting for the ad to come on Facebook we're already going in and finding out which new product was just added and then taking that for our own store. So this is actually one great way to stay ahead of the curve and find winning products before anybody else does because as you already know once you find a product on Facebook with an ad which has already done really well there's a very high chance 10 other dropshippers or 100 other dropshippers have looked at that same exact advertisement 
and are planning to advertise that product. So by that time, it may already be too late, but using this strategy, you're going to be ahead of the curve, as I mentioned. So let's go ahead and go on to our second example website. And this is six seconds.com. It should be seconds.com, but they kind of want it to be quirky and cool and just put a six. But if we go ahead and apply the same strategy, just paste that code in. And by the way, I'll have this code for you in the description below. But once we paste it in, we're going to be seeing the newest products that were added first. Again, a great way to stay ahead of the curve. And unlike the best selling collections where most of the dropshippers disable that page overall, this is a new strategy. So nobody's really going to even pay attention to disabling this specific text. So that means about 99% of the dropshipping stores, when you search on their product with this text, you're gonna find their newest products first so it looks like this specific store just added this LED flame effect light bulb recently and this is the most recent addition to their website the second product here is the garden path maker mold now this is a product for which I've seen a lot of ads on on Facebook so if this store is just added this specific product to their website that means they may be planning on advertising this product or they have already started advertising this product so that kind of lets me decide whether I want to go ahead and test this product or not and it gives me ideas for product testing as well so for example if I find that this product was just recently added to their website then I would go ahead and go on AliExpress search it up and see how many orders there are on AliExpress if there are a decent amount of orders for this specific product that just confirms my belief that this product is worth testing because number one this is the newest addition to this specific website and number two it is showing traction on AliExpress so when these two things are combined that just lets us know that this product is a potential winning product which we can test before anybody else does besides this store but now let's go ahead and go on to our third and final example of a drop shipping store where we can use this strategy so if we go ahead and search that up we can see that again the newest products came up on none of these websites was this specific page disabled so that means on almost every single drop shipping store you're going to be able to find their newest additions to their store and again that's going to put you ahead of the curve so it looks like this specific unisex fallen arches support sleeves were just added on this store and this is the newest addition so again that gives you a little bit of more idea as to what people are just adding right now and whether those products are worth testing or not so now just another disclaimer not every product that you find through this strategy is going to be worth testing you're gonna again have to apply some other strategies along with this one and one of them includes searching on aliexpress maybe looking at facebook feeds and trying to find out how many other advertisers are trying to advertise the same exact product if so if you're not really sure of the other strategies which i'm talking about right now go ahead and check out some of the videos on my channel i have a few on product research but you want to combine all of these along with this strategy to really get the best bang out of your buck and one thing i would like to add is this strategy also works great for google ads in fact i've just recently created a brand new google ads general store which i'm using the same exact strategy for product research and so far i've been finding some amazing products which are potential six-figure products which not a lot of people even know about so i know for a fact the strategy works really well and it can work really well for you if you try but moving on to our second strategy product research and this is using a specific website to spy on all dropshipping store product together and in order to do this i use a special website called commafeed.com now what exactly is commafeed.com and how do you use it well it's actually very simple to use commafeed you can just sign up for a free account on commafeed it's fully free and once you sign up what you want to do is you're going to see on the main website a menu on the left where it says subscribe and it says all right below that when you click on subscribe you're going to be taken to a specific page which asks you for a url inside of this specific url what you want to do is you want to go ahead and write the url basically copy and paste the url of a specific dropshipping website which you want to spy on and at the end of that specific website you want to paste this specific code in which is slash collections slash all dot atom now what happens is with this website when you basically enter the url and add this text at the end and press save this website basically starts keeping track of all of the new products and the old products which this specific website has basically it's take, keeping track of the data feed on this website so every time the owner of that website or a staff member adds a brand new product to their website you're going to be automatically notified on commafeed.com so what i like to do on commafeed is basically take a list of different drop shipping stores maybe 5 10 20 as many as you can because the more you have the better it is for you and basically add each of them one by one with the same exact strategy i showed you by adding this text at the very end 
when you add them all one by one, what happens is you now have access to all of the new products that are going to be added to this specific website, to each specific website inside commafeed.com. So you don't have to constantly go through each of the websites every single day trying to find the new products that they added using the first strategy I mentioned because now on just comma feed, you're gonna be notified every time somebody adds a brand new product to their store. So it's kind of an addition to the first strategy I mentioned, but it kind of a better version. And this will really save you a lot of time when it comes to product research and it's a brand new strategy which not a lot of people even know about so using these two strategies together is really gonna jumpstart your Shopify career if you aren't getting any results or it's gonna take you to the next level if you're already getting some results but want to improve that because now with the both of these strategies and I highly recommend you use both of them together you're gonna know exactly when somebody adds a brand new product to their store and you're going to be the first one notified so the main reason again why we're doing all of this is just so that we stay ahead of the curve we don't want to really use the old strategies anymore in 2020 and onwards because if you haven't checked out my last video already on how drop shipping is changing I'm gonna tell you right now that drop shipping is changing a lot Facebook ads have been changing and drop shipping has been changing as well so because of these changes what we need to do is we need to adjust our strategies and try different things these two product research methods are completely different and something different from the rest of the people so now you have a much higher chance of finding winning products because you aren't just using the same exact strategies which other people teach. But these were the two main strategies which I wanted to share with you guys. If you found any type of value in this video, go ahead and smash the like button down below if you haven't already and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.